Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Ansible on Red Hat Linux virtual machine. Using Ansible, we are going to access Azure Cloud so that we can create resources in Azure Cloud using Ansible. So what is Ansible? So Ansible is one of the popular configuration management tools. Using Ansible, you can automate infrastructure setup. You can also automate configuration management as well. Ansible pretty much supports all the cloud providers. Using Ansible, you would be able to create resources on any uh, cloud platform. But this particular video, we are going to integrate with Azure Cloud and we are going to create some resources in Azure Cloud using Ansible Playbook. So if you look at the architecture diagram, the way Ansible is actually going to work is uh, whichever the machine you are going to install Ansible that is going to act as an Ansible management node or control node, uh, using this machine, uh, you would be able to uh, install softwares on the target servers, okay? So either it could be a single server or multiple servers, okay? And then the way you're going to do that is you're going to create something called playbooks. So playbooks are nothing but configuration as a code or infrastructure as a code where you're going to have all your uh, software installations, everything uh, mentioned in the playbook. And then the way Ansible is actually going to uh, talk to the target server is, you know, using SSH keys. So you need to create SSH keys in the Ansible control machine and then you'll have to upload the public keys into the target machine. Once you do that, Ansible would be able to securely, uh, you know, authenticate with the target server and then you can create a playbook and then you can push the uh, playbooks on the target server. Uh, so in order for Ansible to talk to target servers, you also need to create entry in the inventory file as well. And you can also do grouping as well. Let's say you have uh, database servers or let's say you have app servers or you have web servers, right? So what you can do is you can create a group in the inventory file and then you can uh, target your playbook to a specific set of uh, servers uh, if needed, okay? So yeah, so that's quickly, uh, you know, architecture uh, overview about Ansible. So what we're actually going to do is, um, if, you, if you see in this diagram, the way Ansible is going to uh, access Azure Cloud is you need to first authenticate. You need to first authenticate Ansible with uh, Azure Cloud. So the way you're going to authenticate is uh, by creating a service principle. Okay, so using the service principle, Ansible should be able to authenticate with Azure Cloud. And then once you have Ansible uh, configured on your uh, Linux VM, we also need to install something called Azure Aura modules. So using this Azure Aura modules, Ansible would be able to access uh, Azure Cloud, okay? So, so yeah, we need to have service principle created. Using this, we are going to authenticate with Azure Cloud. And then we also need to install uh, Azure Aura modules. Using this, you know, we should be able to access uh, Azure Cloud, okay? Awesome, so let's get started here. But before that, I also have everything in all the prerequisite and then all the implementation steps captured here. So why don't we quickly uh, go through it? Uh, so basically, we need to have a, you know, a Linux VM configured. So I have picked up Red Hat in this particular demo. Uh, so we are going to, uh, you know, use this Linux VM. That is where we are going to uh, configure Ansible. So my VM is already connected here. So this is my uh, Red Hat VM, which is running in Azure Cloud. Okay, and then we need to install Azure CLI because we also need to create a service principle. So using this Azure CLI command, we should be able to create a service principle. Uh, and then of course, uh, you know, using Azure CLI, we are going to go ahead and then create a service principle in order to authenticate with Azure Cloud. And then if you look at the implementation steps, so right now I don't have anything installed on this machine. Okay, so we are going to install Ansible on this machine. The way we are going to do that is we need to install something called package manager for Python, which is pip. So we need to install pip. And then once we install pip, we are going to install Ansible using pip. And then of course, we also need to install Azure Aura modules. Okay. And then we are going to, uh, you know, create the Ansible credential, credential file using the service principle, what we have created. Okay. And then we need to go ahead and then create Ansible playbook. So very simple playbook we are actually going to create uh, in order to create a resource group in Azure Cloud. And then we are going to execute our Ansible playbook in order to create the resource group. 
and then we will log in into Azure Cloud just to verify if the resource group got created or not. And then finally, you know, we will uh, clean up all the resources, whatever we have created uh, out of this lab exercise. Okay. So yeah, so that's all we are going to do, guys. It's a very, uh, you know, simple uh, demonstration. Uh, so if you are actually new to uh, Ansible, this is a great opportunity for you to learn Ansible and then uh, create resources in Azure Cloud as well. It's a very simple uh, demonstration. All right. Great. So let's get started here. So guys, you know, this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. All right. So, so let's look at the prerequisite. Yes, I'm actually connected to, uh, you know, our uh, Red Hat Linux VM. So we need to start with uh, performing M update. I have already done that. Uh, that usually takes about two to three minutes. So just to save time, I have already performed this particular command. So I'm going to go ahead and then install a Python pip. Okay, perfect. And then let me also go ahead and then upgrade pip using this command. Very good. And then let's go ahead and install Ansible. So I'm actually going to install this specific version of Ansible. So let me copy this command and then go ahead and then install Ansible. There you go. Awesome. So Ansible is installed. So we can verify that real quick. Perfect. There you go. So that's the version what we just installed right now. Awesome. And then let's also go ahead and install Ansible Aura module. So this is most important if you want to access uh, Azure Cloud uh, from Ansible. Okay. So we need to go ahead and then install the Aura modules. There you go. So as you can see here, it is in the process of installing, you know, several uh, Azure modules. Okay, perfect. So we got uh, taken care of that. So next thing is, you know, we need to go ahead and create a service principle. So like I was explaining you earlier, uh, we need to uh, create a service principle so that we can authenticate with Azure Cloud. So the way we are going to actually do that is, you know, we need to install uh, Azure CLI. I don't think uh, we have Azure CLI installed on this machine. Let me just quickly check. No, I don't have Azure CLI installed, but not a problem. Uh, I do have a small article here in my website. You can easily get the instruction from Microsoft website itself. So let me download the key and then, you know, uh, start installing. Okay, and then let's use our DNF command in order to install Azure CLI. Awesome. Let's also go ahead and then verify the version as well. Perfect. So Azure CLI also got installed. So, so far, so good. Let me get back to the instructions. So the next step would be, we need to create a service principle. So you can actually copy this command in order to create a service principle. But actually before that, uh, let me go ahead and then perform this particular command. Uh, oh, I need to first log in into Azure Cloud. Sorry about that. So we need to log into Azure Cloud. So the way we are going to log in is by performing az login command. And then let's go ahead and uh, uh, bring up this URL and we are going to go ahead and then enter this particular code so that using Azure CLI, we should be able to authenticate with Azure Cloud. So let's select our Microsoft account. So that's the one and then click on continue so that, you know, this would uh, try to access Azure Cloud using Azure CLI. Perfect. So very good. So we are successfully able to log into Azure Cloud. Very good. Okay, and this is my subscription ID. Okay, all right. So let's start uh, creating a service principle right now. So I'm going to go ahead and then uh, copy this command. So let's give a service principle some name. I'm going to say Ansible 
um, SP August 23. So that's the service principal name I would like to give. Uh, and then I'm want, I want to give a contributor role for the service principal. Let me make sure I copy that correctly. Okay. And then I would like to provide my subscription ID here, which is nothing but this one. Perfect. So this should go ahead and create a service principle with the contributor role. Okay. Perfect. Let's execute that. Okay, there you go. So we were able to create the service principle and then um, all the information has been provided here, tenant ID, password and everything. So why don't we save this in a file? Let me go to my sublime text. I'm, I'm going to paste that uh, information over here. Okay, very good. So now uh, we have created a service principle. The next step would be to, um, you know, so two options, right? We need to authenticate with Azure Cloud. So what you can do is either you can uh, create Ansible credentials file or you can uh, create uh, environment variables with this all these values, okay? So either you can create environment values like this and then you export the values or we can also go ahead and then create a, uh, a cred credential file as well, okay? But let me go ahead with the Ansible credential files. So let me go ahead and then create this directory and then create this file. Okay, so let me copy this, uh, these entries and then we are going to fix uh, depending on the value what we got. Okay, so we already have almost all the values. So this is the tenant ID. So let me copy that from here and then I'm going to put that over here. Okay. secret is nothing but a password which is nothing but this one so i will also you know delete all these service principle after my demonstration so uh, you know no one would be able to use that and then the client id so that is actually nothing but the app id okay and then we need to provide the subscription id uh, which we got let me see, uh, let me save this. So that's our subscription ID. So let me just pick that up from there. Perfect. Okay, so I think uh, we have this uh, credential file created. So very good, right? Awesome. So now what we can actually do is, uh, we can quickly test our configuration. So the way you can do that is you can execute uh, some kind of uh, ad hoc command. So if you look at this particular command, you know, uh, we can also try to create a resource group using this command. Uh, and then this is a location. Uh, I mean, depending on uh, your configuration, you can modify this. If you want to give a different resource group name, you can modify here. If you want to give different location, you can modify here. But I'm actually okay with this. Let me copy this and let me go ahead and then execute this. So as you can see right now, uh, you know, if you see here, this does not exist. That's why it is saying false. And then this was able to create this particular uh, resource group. So if I go into Azure Cloud, click on resource groups, uh, it might take few seconds. So this is the resource group name. Let's see. Wow. There you go, guys. You see here? So yeah, so we were able to create a resource group using Ansible command. So why don't we actually go ahead and then create some playbooks here? So I'm going to go ahead and then create this directory. Okay, playbooks directory. And then I'm going to go ahead and then create this particular playbook. It's a very simple playbook. Uh, if you see here, I would like to create a resource group using Ansible playbook. So that is a a resource group name and then I would like to create under this particular location 
So again, right, you can modify this based on your requirement. It's not a big deal. Uh, let me just fix these. Okay. So it's a very simple uh, playbook. And we are, uh, connection is local because we are actually executing on this particular Red Hat Linux VM, okay? All right, so let me save this. And then I want to go ahead and then execute this playbook. The way you're going to do that is, uh, you know, uh, write this command Ansible playbook and then go ahead and then provide the playbook name. That's it. There you go. Awesome. See here, so we got this particular confirmation. It means that the resource group got created. Uh, we can actually validate that by going into Azure Cloud. Let me click on refresh. So if you look at the resource group, uh, sorry, if you look at the resource group name. So this is the resource group name, right? What we gave in the playbook. I don't see that yet here, but let me refresh. Wow. See here, guys. So yeah, so we were able to create a resource group using Ansible playbook. That's amazing. Now, same thing, right? Let's say you want to go ahead and then clean up the resource group. So you can also create a very simple playbook. Okay, so let me copy and paste these. Okay. Uh, yeah, so if you want, you can hard code that over here, the resource group, I mean, this resource group name, uh, or you can also pass that as a argument as well. Okay, so let me pass that as an argument. Okay, uh, we need to execute the playbook. So this is how you're gonna execute the playbook. Okay, and then if you want to pass the argument, you can create with this extra wash. So this is the resource group name, which I want to get right off. Enter, there you go. Uh, we have some permission issue. Let me see here what is going on. Let me see. Oh, I do have a space here. Can you all see here? It's kind of weird. Let me fix that. It's kind of weird. Okay, sorry about that. So this is the space. I'm going to fix it. Awesome. So as you can see here, the resource group got created. Let's go ahead and then click on refresh. Wow, see here guys. So the resource group got uh, deleted. Okay, wonderful, right? So yeah, so that's it guys, you know, that's how you would, uh, you know, access Azure Cloud using Ansible in order to create resources in Azure Cloud using Ansible playbook. Thank you for watching this video.